I have a couple of uh, talks lined up now, where we will we will be talking about another experience of conducting an hackathon. So let me just call the the next speaker. So Professor Kumarasan was uh, going to come here and talk about it. So I would like him to share his thoughts about the and the experiences about conducting this hackathon. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, it's it's a pleasant surprise to meet you all at this time. And um, we came to know about this presentation a couple of days back, and we quickly put together our experiences. We are going to give you an overall picture of what we have done as a part of uh, conducting this Make in India Hackathon. Um, if you have any doubts or anything, uh, we can always you can always get in touch with us. We will give you our mail IDs and other links. You know, like where are the um, uh, where we have our final entries and like other uh, other talks, everything. We can give you the links and you can go through it. I would say this was a great experience for us as uh, organizers, and I wish everybody could go through this experience at uh, some point in their life. You know. Um, so I shall start about giving the overall idea. So when hackathon was told to us, you no, know, we have to conduct a hackathon. We were like, you know, we used to conduct different kinds of hackathons here, you know, typically for uh, computer science exercises or in IDC Industrial Design Center, we conduct uh, design hackathons where we talk about um, creative methods, etc. But this time it was for all over India, engineering students and whoever could participate could participate. That was the idea. It was open to everybody. So we wanted to touch everybody and like you know, make them feel related to this uh, whole exercise. Uh, so the whole thing started with finding out what are the main important uh, issues that they can relate to, everybody can relate to and can they make a difference. All of us have ideas. And uh, can that idea be implemented or realized? That was the whole intention. So we started with motivating students. We sent a lot of flyers to different colleges. And we asked them, do you want to change anything in your city? Right immediate thing that they see, right? Like transport, water issues, and energy issues. These are the three things that we thought everybody would be uh, interested in addressing these issues. And uh, here in IIT Bombay, we have uh, pretty prominent centers which deal with research issues in these three areas, energy, water, and transportation. So we took our strength and uh, we wanted to add more to it and we wanted more people to participate in this uh, hackathon. So we organized these question papers uh, that itself was a big exercise for us you know we uh, almost four departments we got together we filled up the question paper and we sent it across to people and the second thing that happened was the preparations in conducting uh, or accommodating all of them like uh, about 150 participants came from different places different colleges and uh, there were uh, quite a lot of entries that uh, came in, uh, more than 150, I guess. And we had to uh, shortlist all of them. That was another big task. We had to set up our own um, uh, evaluation committee. And we all worked towards finding the best solutions, best proposals. And these are the, uh, we had to have very strong uh, evaluation criteria as well. And uh, uh, we had to, uh, people should know how a problem is being analyzed. So we pretty much uh, made it available to everyone to see, you know, like these are the criteria that we are looking for. Uh, the first thing that we concentrated was the strength of the team. The team, is the team capable of doing, realizing uh, their solutions, their ideas within the given time, like say three days. Three days is the hackathon time, but they spent seven days with us in pre-preparation and post-preparation 
పోస్ట్ హ్యాకత్ ఆన్ టైమ్ దెన్ వీ లుక్ అట్ దేర్ ప్రపోజల్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ పొటెన్షియల్ ఇంపాక్ట్ కెన్ ఇట్ బి రియలైజ్డ్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్కేల్ ఆఫ్ ద రియలైజేషన్ కెన్ ఇట్ రీచ్ అక్రాస్ ఇండియా ఆర్ ఈస్ ఇట్ ఓన్లీ స్పెసిఫిక్ టు వన్ పర్టికులర్ జోన్ ఆర్ రీజియన్ అండ్ ద నావల్టీ ఆఫ్ ఐడియా ఈజ్ జస్ట్ రన్ ఆఫ్ ద మిల్ ఐడియా ఆర్ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ కమ్ అప్ విత్ సంథింగ్ uh interesting in terms of uh, probably the technology that is being used or the cost or anything else and we also looked at the people whether they can actually uh, they understood the technology uh, in these days you know you know like uh, it's very easy for people to say yeah just create another app no that's not we are looking for not we are looking for we are looking for something more hardcore you know uh do the people know what they are talking about then the robustness of the solution robustness primarily it comes from the simplicity and implementability you know uh, we are talking about like far away places uh remote places where there is no reach of technology can the solution still function without uh, you know even if there is any small hitches can it be sorted that was the another uh, criterion of course viability viability in terms of uh, finance or like you no know, even implementability all that counts and the use cases do they really define uh, address the problem cover the defined problem that is the uh, of course obvious but important step that we have to find out and of course design how everything is put together to address the anthropometric or like human needs in this indian context and of course we ha- we didn't uh, of course we cannot <laughs> um control the judges judges have their own discretion so these are the shortlisting criteria we used for the first 150 problems and we brought it down to about 30 teams uh, later i'll be showing a movie where we'll be uh, uh, showing the numbers and like you know how people actually um participated in the whole event it's a short movie about 3 minutes uh, all of you can look at it and um, we wanted to make it more of an immersive it's, it's, it's it was a very immersive intensive intense experience people came 7 days they all stayed with us in the campus only and we don't we didn't want to make it more of a very formal pressurized event or anything but you know we we all had quite a lot of uh, informal talks with the students students lived here actually it was a, there was no time given morning they start and it goes on until the evening you know and the evening we had like couple of cultural events people could approach anyone uh, even though they were in the uh, they were split in teams they could meet the mentors anytime they needed uh, right from our, our very senior faculty members and uh, they felt at home that was the uh, that was the feeling we wanted to give and we pretty much achieved that and uh, within iit iit bombay and across uh, colleges uh, colleges and other uh, institutes um professional institutes we had collaboration in this um industrial policy and promotion council from uh, government of india cii and other iits like uh, iit karakpur iit kanpur iit delhi iit roorkee all this roorkees uh, all this uh, all these colleges also participated actively pretty much actively and uh, made this a uh, reality actually this was the first hackathon that happened when uh, our prime minister modi announced uh, make in india uh, plans so this hackathon was a part of a part of the main event which was main exhibition make in india exhibition held at uh, bandra kurla complex in uh, mumbai so we had the final date of the exhibition announced so we had to catch that um, deadline and coming to the uh, first day of hackathon uh it all started with our uh, director uh, professor uh, devan kakkar giving us on motivational talk and to all the students uh, about the purpose of this hackathon itself and how innovation can impact various uh, fields 
that was a pretty uh, emotional, not emotional, motivational talk for everyone. And followed by uh, Professor, uh, Professor uh, Fortuck, uh, he gave us another very important talk. I would suggest everyone to go through that in the links that we share later. He talked about the principles of professional uh, professionalism, cardinal principles. And uh, uh, we as even uh, mentors and faculty members, we found it very, very useful. It was a, a long talk, it was about an hour talk, but uh, he pretty much touched everybody, everybody's uh, intrigue, you know, like how to get out of the rat race and become a true winner. What is the meaning of being a winner? That is what uh, he discussed about. I would uh, request everyone to go through that talk. That was uh, pretty much phenomenal. And another thing was even and the way we started the hackathon, we did not make it like you know very formal event where people go and uh, uh, light up a DR or anything. We uh, everybody actually uh, flew airplanes, paper airplanes. We gave a simple sheet of paper and with creases in it, people had to make their own um, paper planes and they had to launch it literally, you know. That set a uh, very nice informal but uh, very refreshing participatory feel to the whole hackathon and interestingly it was taken over at every stage of hackathon. We had a lot of uh, talks by our faculty members and external faculty members who came and uh, I think the most important part of hackathon was the knowledge dissemination and uh, most, uh, most, uh, most students do not have access to such um, esteemed faculty members talks or like you know to meet them in person. Uh, we had uh, Professor Kavi Arya first uh, to come and talk about e Yantra initiative. I am sure most of you must have participated in e Yantra uh, robotic competitions that are being held every year. Then Professor Kannan uh, came and talked about um, uh, many FOSI based initiatives in IIT Bombay. He is the person behind uh, Akas tablets, etc. And Professor Kriti Ramamritam, who was the chief of our uh, hackathon event, he came and talked about smart energy. And uh, uh, we have a separate lab here, smart energy informatics laboratory. So, we uh, he presented a lot of his ideas and about energy saving. And later, Professor uh, Bapat, he came and spoke about industrial design. So, we have so much of technology and other ideas that we have, engineering solutions. How do we make it more accessible to humans? How do we make it more humane, you know? He spoke about product design and industrial design, primarily about design. He is our faculty at uh, Industrial Design Center, IIT Bombay. Then we have Mr. Castro who came and talked about smart cities, followed by uh, Professor Tom from IIT Bombay. He spoke about intersections of design and design of signalized intersections. Basically, it is about transport. And uh, the last one was uh, Professor B. Ravi. What does it make to make in India? That was, an, where, that was a very, very inspiring talk. And uh, like I said, uh, please do go through that. It is uh, he, he has been working on various uh, medical devices, frugal medical devices and uh, introducing new technology, high technology in medic medical fields in a frugal way. Um, please do go through that uh, talk and we have our lab here. You are welcome to come anytime and have a look at the other work also, either on web or in person you can come. And later we had Surva Chakravarti talking about inter, again uh, transportation, Mr. Vivek Kali, who was talking about uh, smart and sustainable water resources and Arpita Mandal, faculty at IIT Bombay, she spoke about uh, hydrology in Anthropocene and later Professor Narayanan uh, from Sitara, Center for Technology Alternatives for Rural Areas. Uh, they came and uh, 
discussed another interesting project called Million Soul Project, which is a solar lamp. Uh, so far, they have distributed about uh, 1 million solar lamps across India. That is another very interesting uh, flagship project. And uh, we had Mr. Uh, Krishna Kumar came, uh, who came and spoke about intelligent transportation systems and uh, Jayant Krishinger, Sh Shirsagar, sorry, he spoke about SAP. It was, uh, uh, it was a talk about cloud platform and how it can uh, help in large scale projects. I shall share you some of the pictures of people giving talks. These are uh, Professor Krithirama Mridham who is talking about uh, smart energy. Professor Fartak, who is talking about uh, cardinal principles of uh, uh, professional and this is Professor B. Ravi, who is talking about what does it take to make in India. And uh, coming to the working of hackathon, we had a huge mentor team. We had a lot of uh, PhD students and other faculty members who came and uh, who were working with our um, uh, hackathon teams in a very close scale, you know. Um, pretty much they lived over there, you know, in the whole hackathon area. So, these are the glimpses of hackathon happening, you know. Uh, we, we had booked about um, five different seminar halls and these areas were completely dedicated to them. We had all the machines and uh, uh, components left in front of them, they could choose whatever they want and they can walk around, see other people, what they are working on, interact with them. So, this casual interaction was the most important part of uh, hackathon. It is not that you sit in one place and like, you know, you work like a machine and get out. No, you go interact with others, you learn from them and see what is their approach towards the problem. Uh, we encourage this interaction quite a lot. Nobody was sitting in this place for more than 15, 20 minutes, you know, they, they were going around and seeing everybody else. And that guy looks very serious, again. And uh, uh, before hackathon started, we gave them a uh, um, set of tutorials and you know, how to work on various uh, Arduinos and uh, other uh, open source hardware and software and students were taken to uh, all the labs inside IIT and uh, they could see how IIT is doing things and uh, uh, pretty much we taught them a lot of new techniques. This was very enriching for the students and they could, uh, I, we saw some of the students actually who had never worked on Arduinos and other. Uh, platforms, they came, they saw it and they were intrigued and they incorporated these devices in their projects. Uh, we were quite surprised to see that. And this is Professor Boppet who is talking about product design and uh, this is during the talks. And this is our team and uh, here actually we had a small cultural event also. In the evening, people came, we all sat together, we discussed, uh, all our uh, uh, faculty members also came and joined. There was a small competition, there was a winner announced and people came, sang and like you no know, danced. Uh, this made a huge difference in the next day actually or the days which came after this. Uh, people lost their inhibitions, people were very free to talk to each other, people knew each other quite, uh, quite a lot. There was no, there was more of a personal connection that happened after this uh, event, this cultural event. So, I would suggest if you are having such a serious hackathon, there has to be a de-stressing area also. Uh, and uh, this informal exposure that leads to a lot of interesting chemistry amongst the students, chemistry as in like, you know, how they operate and discuss. And uh, we had some foreigners uh, from uh, University of Edinburgh, they also came, they were quite interested to solve Indian problems and they came and uh, they gave a couple of their products and it was 
quite uh, refreshing for us to see them working with the rest of the team. And I will show you some of the uh, pictures of products developed by, as a part of Hackathon. The previous one was, uh, this one is for the energy efficient uh, louvers. This is an interactive uh, road system. It is just a mock up, proof of concept prototype. And finally, we came to uh, jury. Judging, we did not take it uh, very lightly, so even though all of us were. Uh, pretty much involved and like uh, we could see their progress. We had some eminent uh, professors from other institutes and other uh, countries also and they came, they were, uh, they were, uh, they were the part of the jury panel and uh, uh, nobody could believe students could come up with so much of uh, hard work and like the quantum of work in such a short period of time. They had, they had to face a lot of difficulty in choosing the best one amongst the other entries, all the entries. And the jury panel actually brought in the uh, serious note to the whole hackathon. When people came to know such and such a very serious jury members are there, they could see, okay, our work is being uh, uh, evaluated by such very senior professionals and they took it seriously. Of course, people were pretty much tensed before the announcement and interestingly this guy actually won a prize. So I shall show you a two minute movie. That is how uh, hackathon at the campus, it got over and we chose the finalists. Then we had a, a very large scale uh, prize giving a ceremony that happened at MMRDA grounds at uh, Mumbai. And uh, we chose six finalists 
from uh, that is two from each uh, stream that is like transportation energy and uh, water and there was a winner and uh, there was a runner up uh, this is the place uh, huge stage we had and uh, professor kriti welcome the guests and uh, professor uh, kakkar and sudarshan ayengar uh, they chaired the whole event and uh, mr p r k murthy who is the director of mma mma da who came and uh, professor mr ajay kumar bhat director of systems mma c and uh, professor b k chakravarty they they chaired the whole uh, event it was about a 1000 seater hall and we announced the winners i am not getting to the details of this yeah ah uh, harsh gupta nirbhay ferwani who are from vivekananda education society institute of technology mumbai they won in water and runner up was won by nikhil bharadwaj and pranav bharadwaj then uh, transportation we had uh, people from uh, satyam sahu anuj singh and uh, anurag thomar from krishna institute of engineering and technology gaziabad they won and runner up was by shruj patel and vishwamistri krupal sharma and khinjal prajapati from sept ahmedabad and energy we had arshin gandhi and saurabh anand from iit kanpur which was uh, runner up in this energy category was sanjay kumar from vit and shiv kumar from karpum college of engineering coimbatore and uh, we had an uh, interaction with the students after uh, post hackathon and we took their feedback and like you know where it can be improved um, etc and you know what they felt about it more everybody said like you know uh, it was very inspiring for us to come to iit and work with uh, such eminent minds and uh, that inspiration what we gave is something that we are uh, you know we felt quite satisfied with and the winner or uh, losers there was no winner or loser as such but everybody was happy at the end of it those who won the competitions or who were participated they came it was a complete immersive experience for them and uh, uh, that intensity in which they worked on the given subject that is something they found, everybody found a uh, very useful so to conclude it what i would say is like you know finding the right problem giving it to them and giving the infrastructure to them to realize you know how small it is you know like, uh, if they can come up with a solution i think that would motivate them to take bigger risks in the future this is an attitude that we give it to them you know can you can you solve a big problem with small steps that is the whole idea in this pretty much this is the end of it so if you have any questions or your um, you can you can just shoot it up uh, we will share our mail ids with you and whatever help that you need please do contact us any time thank you